Hello, my friend. Welcome to this video. The best wishes to you at the year of rabbit 2023. I start the project by following the same pattern when I locate a picture that makes me interested to work on it and uh, I'm motivated to achieve some of the goal I have. This picture is what I've been looking for for quite a long time. It's a scratched or stained surface motivate uh, my uh, beard of this uh, P38 scale model. From the eBay, I found uh, this box, the Tamiya P38J at the scale of 148. When I look at the uh, box art, I find it quite interesting that uh, the button of uh, boom, the scratched surface that I'm considering to give a try. As always, I start to research. First of all, I find uh, there's a reason for two boom because of the uh, turbocharge, supercharge uh, for the engine. Uh, that uh, make the P38 the high attitude interceptor from the front to the rear start with the engine and the supercharge and the radiator at the back of the boom from this historical picture I noticed that uh, each panel have a very clear car and we can show some of the 3D pattern in between It's time to assemble this model. I start with uh, adding more rewrite line uh, by myself manually. Also, I get help from my little assistant, my granddaughter. From the very beginning of the assembly, I noticed that uh, the quality of each piece uh, can see it almost seamlessly. It's very high quality. Also, this kit came with the mask for the canopy. It's time for appreciating that will be the uh, gloss black uh, lacquer. Uh, it will be protected by aqua gloss. Later, I will use the dull aluminum as the primary color. I know that I will emphasize on certain small area so that uh, I adjust my uh, Airbrush uh, head to make it go for the tiny line. The special touch to the turbo charge. You should have noticed the uh, black uh, pre-shade is very diluted and some only small area is uh, using the 100% black. We are moving into the uh, oil color weathering stage. Uh, these are the uh, colors that I've been applied to different areas. Of course, at the very bottom, you may notice the two of the color. Uh, one is AK's interactive uh, aluminum, and the other one is white. Those are two key colors being used. For doing the dry brush skill, I use flat, uh, short hair, sturdy uh, oil brushes, and uh, 
I consider I can dump it after I apply it. This is the first try without the uh, primer color. I consider I should improve it. I apply the second layer, still consider that uh, I need to resolve the issue. On the fuselage and all over the body, I spray the layer of the dull aluminum uh, as a primer color and later apply the mix of the two uh, oil color. You can notice the container is very dry and uh, I add a little bit amount of the lacquer thinner that is the Mona Lisa. Next, I'm trying to separate each panel by color difference. You should have remembered that uh, at the beginning of the video, I mentioned that each panel are uh, separated and uh, I'm trying to achieve the same effectiveness. In the continuing reviewing process, I put the uh, almost done model in front of my big monitor and using the cell phone to take pictures. I have two hobby. One is scale modeling, the second one is painting. And recently, I started to look at the possibility of using the artificial intelligence created image as a background of my model. Here is an example. I hope you enjoyed this sharing and I will continue to work on more projects based on the dry brushes skill. Until next time, see you again.